Hello everybody and welcome back to another Techno Tokyo Theater video. Alright guys, we are here with another Shinran Kagura New Link video. And this one is going to be an overview, a translation video for the new characters coming to the game. This is something I want to do every time they release new characters because there is a severe lack of translations for this game. I enjoy it and I feel like it was very difficult for me to find translated material for this game so I could know what the cards did. I feel like I can't be the only one out there that's having a hard time finding translations for what these characters can do. Now I'll put a link in the description below and all credit goes to these people, not to me. There's a link, a Reddit link and there's also a link that um, links you to like a Google Docs uh, document that translates all the cards in the game. The new cards do take a while to get a translation for, so that's why this video is a little late. Because uh, it took a while for me to find the translations for the new cards. They don't update the sites as frequently as they probably should, but then again, I'm just grateful that the site exists. So, I can bring these translations to you guys, and if you don't want to wait to see my videos that I'm going to try to release often, uh, you can just go straight to the site for yourself and, and find the information there. So, uh, here we go. We're going to start off with the first new unit here, which is Shiki. And she is uh, a one of the three units that is being released in this event. And she is <laughs> quite tantalizing indeed, you can see. This is the little lady I'm definitely trying to go to for obvious reasons. Two very important reasons indeed, all right? Now, Shiki here, uh, aside from her assets, actually is, to me, the better character of the two that are releasing. And uh, pretty much... We're going to go down a list of where her stats are really quickly, and then we're going to talk about where her where her leader skill is, her passive skill, her main skill, uh, first skill, and her second skill, which is like a special attack. So, here we go. Uh, Shiki is a Yang style, and she's aligned with good. She has max hit point of 1,740 uh, health, and she has an attack, max attack of 11. 125 attack max defense is 575 max speed is 232 and luck is 10 uh, which is all usually 10 unless the event you know increases that so her attack and her health does go up if you transform her which you generally want to do uh, because they go up to kind of a threshold of her health, her health goes up to a threshold of like 3100 now this is standard all right this is good but it is kind of average if for transformed units this is kind of the average health that you expect a uh, same thing with her attack at 2200 it's very good it is very good but it is kind of the norm it's kind of average for transformed characters this isn't like abnormally strong this is kind of what you expect uh, so that, that is good, but you know, it's just kind of average. Same thing with the other stats they boost as well. So let's go down to the more interesting abilities here, which are her leader skill. At 20%, uh, well, correction, she increased attack and, and health by 20% for yin and yang styles. And this remains the same for her evolution. And basically, yin and yang, if you don't know, are, are the blue units and the red units, all right? There's also a third unit, which is yellow, and that's flash. It took me a while to figure that out. I thought they were only good and evil, yin and yang, but apparently there's a third element, at least in this game, there is. So her first passive skill, which is a skill that, you know, you don't have to activate it, it's always in an effect. And that's that she is immune to paralysis, which is definitely helpful. Uh, and her, when she evolves, she gets a second passive skill, which to me is the only reason to really go for this character in particular, which means that she gives a 10% chance of paralysis with a normal attack. Now, I believe that works for all the characters in your team, but it might just be for her. I'm not sure, but it definitely is the main skill and ability that makes her kind of special. I don't know if there's any other characters that have this ability. It's not a very high percentage. But to me, in my opinion, Paralysis is the best status effect in the game. It's definitely better than Poison and Fire, and it's much better than, than, than Freezing People, which is kind of the, it's a similar ability, but the problem with Freezing People is that when you punch them after you freeze them, they instantly became, come unfrozen. So if you have a character that immediately attacks a frozen character, then it's kind of a waste to even freeze them in the first place. Paralysis doesn't work that way. They stay paralyzed even after you attack them. So it's a guaranteed way to freeze your opponent in place. And that's much better in my opinion. So her first skill, which is the one that you just tap for, you don't have to slide up for it, pretty much uh, targets two foes. 
and it does 1.5 damage, which I don't know if that's extraordinary in any way. To me, it sounds kind of average. I don't think that's like a normal amount of damage. The cooldown takes a while as well. It's, it's a long cooldown. And uh, when you evolve her, that goes into times two damage. So that's the only change when she's evolved. So here we go. Her skill, kind of her special, if you will. This is the one with the animation. Once you slide up the, the slider, it'll go into special animation. This is the more powerful ability. It targets three foes, does two times damage, and the sub skill does 50% uh, attack down. And that lasts for two turns at a medium duration. All right, so that's good times. I, I, once again, I don't know if this skill is extraordinarily good. I'm still kind of new to the game myself and I'm familiarizing myself with these characters and what they're capable of doing. But it, it sounds fairly average to me. It doesn't sound like an extreme amount of damage or anything. And it doesn't change at all from her evolution, aside from the fact that it does decrease the cost. The cost goes down to low. I believe cost and cooldown are the same thing. I don't really know, but that's the terminology that's being used here on this website. So, that's it. I think Shiki is definitely the better unit of the two that are releasing in this batch. So, if you can get her, I think that you should definitely go for her. And especially <laughs> for that <laughs> voluptuous artwork. Alright, now on to Midori. <laughs> oh, uh, here she is, the little lady. Um, very nice artwork here in her evolution. The base, the base form also has basic artwork, so there's not much to say there. Um, her, her stats, once again, are pretty solid across the board. They're good, but they're kind of average. Even her stats, I think, are lower than, than Shiki's. Some slightly. But, like I said, she's not the, to me, she's not the better unit of the two. If you're gonna pull, you definitely wanna get Shiki. But anyway, here's Midori. Let's go down the list. Style is Yin. Her alignment is good. Her health is 1,671. Her attack is 1,125. Her defense is 569, her speed is 227, and her luck is 10, of course. And uh, her attack, her health goes up to uh, 30,000, um, and her attack goes up to 2,150, all right? So that's pretty much, uh, you know, so like I said, it's relatively average. It is less than Shiki, but not by much, all right? Uh, and let's move on to her leader skill. 20% attack and health boost to all good shinobi so this is when you see the, the the white colored circle on the card that counts for the good shinobi and that ability stays the same relatively average they have characters that can do you know 30 percent uh for those you know for certain elements so that's kind of what you would prefer i wouldn't use this character as a leader and i wouldn't use shiki as a leader either because 20 percent isn't much i mean it's not bad it's average all right it's average is what i'm trying to say her uh, passive skill is 50% chance to resist stun down damage. Or status, 50% chance to resist status down, not stun down. I don't even know what status down is or what that affects, but I guess that may be good in some way. Uh, and when you evolve her, she is she gets the Yen Killer ability, which is 50% attack up against Yen, Yen style. So Yen style is the blue style, I believe. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, eh, mm, mm, yeah, whatever. To me, like I said, her, her abilities just aren't as interesting as the uh, as, as Shiki's, in my opinion. I think Shiki's definitely a better character to go for. Uh, her special skill one, which is the one you just tap for, you don't slide, is targets three foes. It does 1.5 damage and it has a medium cooldown. And that remains the same even in her evolution. So another thing that doesn't make this character any better, she doesn't get stronger when she evolves. I mean, she her stats get stronger, but her skills kind of stay mostly the same. Same thing with her skill too, which is the special where you slide up for. It just adds, an, it, it, it basically allows her to target four foes. And uh, of course it does some sort of damage. When you evolve her, it targets five foes, and that's really the only difference. The, co the cost or the cooldown of whatever it is, is at a low cost, so I guess that's a good thing. But to me, kind of a basic character even more so than shiki which is she's not extraordinary but if you want to get one of the two of these characters you definitely should go for shiki and the last new character added which is not really a new character it's actually just a transformation that was given to a character that is already in the game which is asana asana or asaka 
I think. It could be Asuna or Osaka. I'm not really sure. Anyway, let's say Asuna. She uh, <laughs> she uh, is in her swimsuit version here. They're going to be doing swimsuit evolutions for all, all the girls eventually. But they only have two so far. One I've already evolved and the next one I'm going to be evolving in this video. So that should be exciting. Because we're going to evolve Asuna in a second here. But let's go ahead and see what she can do. Uh, in her evolved state, like I said, her stats are fairly average here. She has the style of Yin, which is the blue one. Uh, her, she's aligned with good. She has uh, 30,075 uh, health. She has 2,238 uh, attack. She has 919 defense. And she has 279 speed, 10 luck. All right, so I mean, all these are fairly average, nothing too crazy. And uh, her special, once again, is 20% increase for health and attack. And that's for Yin and Yang styles. So it's the same uh, ability that Shiki has. And like I said, that's like I said, it's pretty average to get 20% uh, increases. None of these characters are really leader worthy in my opinion. So the only thing that really matters is what their passive effects do really. And let's see what her passive abilities are. It says 50% attack up when there's only one foe. This is extremely good because it's great when you're attacking bosses. Bosses take a while to kill and a lot of times your other enemies in the room will already be killed and you're just trying to kill one enemy. Or sometimes there may be two bosses. And that's where the second part of her skill comes into effect where it is a 50% defense up when there are two or less foes. So not only does she get an attack boost, she gets an attack boost when there's one foe, she gets a defense boost when there's two. And to me, that's a pretty good effect because you're generally going to be fighting leaders and it's good to have that extra damage and defense when you're attacking them. I think that's extraordinary. So, um, let's go into the, the uh, skill one here, which is foe. Uh, targets three foes and it has a medium cooldown, which is mm, eh, it's not crazy. I don't think it doesn't really say how much damage it does. I guess that's another reason why I have a hard time. Uh, oh no, actually, my bad. Let me correct that. I think it. I think it targets just. I think it targets all foes. I believe, and it does three times damage, which is actually pretty good because that's much more damage than the previous character, both of them actually. And then her special skill. Uh, which targets uh, also I think all foes I believe it does five times the damage which is much better than all the last two characters as well so this character here uh, already in the game if you already have her it seems like there's really no reason not to evolve her evolving them can take some time but she's definitely better than the new characters that were even added to the game which is surprising <laughs> so there you go uh, if you have awesome swimsuit version then you're in luck and we're going to go ahead and involve her now as a bonus. And we're going to do a quick pull, a uh, 50 gem pull to see if we can actually luck out and get some of these new characters here. Or any new characters for that matter. Because the rates on this game are terrible. <laughs> so any luck we get is definitely good luck. Alright, so here we are. We're going to do a quick evolution here uh, of Asuna. So you guys get to see me evolve my Asuna. And uh, let's make it happen. These, these, these evolution can take so long to earn these little characters. I, I don't know if you got a chance to see what characters you need to evolve her. Uh, but they're not hard to get. They just It's just time consuming. And it uh, doesn't really look at I mean, her evolution. Like she doesn't even change her outfit. Which is kind of whack. That's kind of the main thing I have in these cool animations for the evolutions. That you get to see an outfit change. And the artwork on the card changes as well. So I already had the stuff I needed. I just figured I'd evolve her here on camera so that we can... You know, say, hey, look, we need, at least we got one new character. Um, now, it's not going to take any time to do this pull. I don't, you know, I haven't had too many luck with any of these gotcha games lately. Uh, crap, hold on. I want to, let's go ahead and, and get a look at these characters real quick. I mean, god damn it. They only show them in their, like, little base evolution, which th this outfit is terrible. So, you definitely don't give a shit about the way they look here. Uh, you only care about what they look like once they're evolved. So, uh, yeah, like, whatever, without further ado, our chances of getting one of these units is very unlikely. But if we get any new rare unit, that would be great. If we get a rare, the chances are increased that they're going to be one of these two. Uh, but even at that case, there's only 50-50 chance I'm going to get the one that I want, because I don't care for Midori, unfortunately. Let's go. Two percent odds, man. That's how that's how rare it is that you get a rare. I just want to drive that home. So if we don't get anything here, 
<laughs> it was just for the video sake because I had to earn these gems just to put a finale on this video. Let's hope we do. Oh, ho, ho, we got, we're getting a rare, so this is awesome. Okay, I, even if it isn't new, man, this is awesome. Uh, I do hope we get one of the new units. I, I would have liked to add her evolution and everything to the video as well. But uh, I don't think that that's really important. I mean, I'm sure you guys will, will know what they look like when they evolve. Okay, so I mean, uh, I, I do wish there was more of an incentive to get some of these fodder units. Uh, you know, because they're like, there's nothing special about seeing some of these other characters. Unless you get a character that has an outfit that you don't have yet. I mean, that's the only benefit. Aside from that, you're just kind of just running through these characters because, you know, they, they're not really that interesting. Their artwork isn't interesting. They're just fine. Oh, come on. It's a new character. Oh, fuck. I didn't want this girl. What <laughs> the fuck? But I got, I got the one I didn't want. But it is one of the new characters. So, I mean, can I really complain? I don't know. I probably shouldn't be complaining. Because there's a 2% chance of you getting a rare. It's very hard to get a rare at all. So, the fact that we got not only a new unit, but one of ones from the, from the batch... That is definitely awesome. Yep, I mean, I really, like I said, man, that's great. So we actually got one of the new characters already. It wasn't the one I wanted, and I really want to complain about that. <laughs> I don't know why. I just need to be grateful because you, you don't understand how many times I pulled and, and got in jack shit. You know what I mean? So just getting a, a new rare is, is something that you need to be grateful for. I hope this video was helpful and uh, let me know what you guys want to see next as far as me covering some footage for Shinrock Agora. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like this game a lot and I want to see it more loved in the community. I want to get more information out there for you guys who are interested. So thank you guys for watching and have a great day, guys. Bye bye. Oh, hold on. Tune in next time. We, we're going to do another translation for the next batch, which should be coming out pretty soon probably like within another week or two so look be on the lookout for that all right guys bye bye thank you for your time i want you for a lifetime